Did you know that three men died in a nuclear explosion so violent their bodies were literally pinned to the ceiling? On January 3rd, 1961, technicians Richard McKinley, John Burns, and Richard Legg were performing routine maintenance on the SL-1 experimental reactor in Idaho. What happened next shocked even seasoned investigators. The reactor exploded with such force that one man was impaled by a control rod and launched 20 feet upward, pinned against the concrete ceiling. The other two were killed instantly by superheated steam and radiation, so intense their flesh melted to the machinery. First responders found the facility filled with deadly radiation levels. The victims' bodies fused to reactor components, but the evidence suggested this wasn't an accident. McKinley had discovered his wife was having an affair with Burns. In a fit of rage, he deliberately pulled the control rod, triggering the explosion that vaporized all three men. The military covered it up as mechanical failure. The contaminated site remains dangerously radioactive today, a tomb sealed by murder and atomic fire.